Hey traders, it's John Fortune here with this week's weekly Forex forecast for the 6th of May to the 10th of May 2019. As always, we're going to start off by looking at the US dollar index and oil before running through a number of markets, looking at the key levels of support and resistance in the process. I'm also going to be highlighting some of the targets that we're going to be looking for in the coming week and also in the week's head. So let's jump over to the charts and see where the money is this week. As always, starting with the US dollar index. Now, last week we were looking for a pullback, a correction, a decline in the US dollar index down towards the 97.34. You can see we did get this move this weakening of the dollar last week into the 97.34. And this was an area highlighted last week. We we're going to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And we got a nice bounce here from the 97.34 last week in the dollar index. Now, very simply put, going into this week, we are viewing overall, we are coming into an area in the larger time frames on the US dollar index where we could start to see a bigger decline to the downside. However, due to the near-term structure, we can see the near-term trend is still intact. We are going to go into next week still looking for one final push to the upside in the dollar index. We have this one two, three, and now we have this four. So we're looking for this final fifth push either into the highs over here. We have a target of the 98.50, but if you want to be conservative going into next week, looking for a target, there's nothing wrong in this case, just looking for the highs over here in case we get this kind of double top pattern. So very simply put, because we are still trending to the upside, because the uptrend is still intact in the near term in the dollar index, we're looking for one final push towards the 98.50. If we get one final retest, although we've already bounced from 97.34, this is once again a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And for anybody not involved already in the dollar pairs, this would be another great opportunity to start to look to initiate long positions. And we're going to be looking at initiating longs and we're going to be looking for advances in the dollar index up towards the 98.50. But as I said, going into next week, because of this five wave structure to the upside, if you want to be conservative and look for a target towards the top over here, uh, there's nothing wrong with that. So next one we're going to look at is crude oil. Now, last week we were looking for further declines to the downside in crude oil. Ever since we traded into the 65.89, we were looking for a decline to the downside down towards this target here of the 60.54. You can see we did have a nice sell off. And in fact, an opportunity we are identified for our members on Monday, looking for a short roughly at the 64.50 area. And you can see we've had a nice decline since then. So there was a good opportunity in oil. We are now approaching the target in 60.54. This is an area going into next week where we could start to see the formation of bullish patterns. And if we get the right kind of bullish formations and patterns in this area, once we trade into the 60.54, this is going to be a place we can start to look for further advances to the upside in oil. And if we get the right kind of bullish patterns in this area, we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the next key area resistance to the upside in the target set at the 64.60. So the first pair we're going to look at is Euro dollar. Now, last week we were sitting in this area and we were looking for some strength to come into the Euro dollar and we came towards our counter trend target here of the 1.12260 for anybody trading this counter trend, this strength to the upside. And we were looking for this as an area to start to look for bearish formations and patterns. Once we trade into this area, you can see we came just above it and we actually tagged this trend line, which we've marked here for you. So you can see where this reversal top took place. And this topping out in this area, we did get these bearish formations and patterns started to climb to the downside. So very simply put, going to next week, if we can get a pullback and a retest once again of the 1.12260, this once again is going to be a great place to start to look for bearish formations and patterns. And we're looking down towards the next key of support to the downside and the target set at the 1.1119. Now, the reason we're looking for the bottom here is because similar to what we discussed in the dollar index, it does look like we may be coming down to complete these five waves down. If that's the case, this is an area we could start to see a bounce in the euro dollar. We're not going to be looking to go long from this area. It's a little bit too early for us. But this is an area we'd want to start taking our profits on any shorts just in case we get this uh, reversal to the upside. If we do get a reversal to the upside, at the very least, the first time we would want to look at this to the upside is if we could break above the 1.12260 and also out of this downward sloping trend line. This would be the first time we would look for long positions in the euro, preferably on a retest of broken resistance turning support or if we come down maybe and test the underside 
of the trend line here as well. This kind of setup is what we would be looking for in order to go long. But we will not go long from the bottom. But because this is a bounce point, we need to be looking at taking our profits around this area. Anything down below here for a profit target is more risky with these five waves developing to the downside. So next pair we're going to look at is pound dollar. Now, last week we highlighted the 1.29780 as an area we could start to look for bearish formations and patterns. And as you can see, we just traded straight through the 1.29780. There were no reversals. There were no bearish formation patterns. There were no opportunities to go short here at the 1.29780. We broke through here and we started to come back down towards this, looking to retest this as broken resistance turning support. We haven't quite retested it yet, but very simply put, we are now, as a result, looking for further advances to the upside in pound dollar. If we can get a correction and a pullback, any pullback down towards the 1.29780 is going to be an opportunity to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. Preferably, as always, if we can actually correct all the way down and retest broken resistance turning support, this would be preferable as we would get better risk to reward on the setups that we get. However, any pullback towards the 1.29780 would be treated as an opportunity to go long. And if we get the right kind of bullish formations and patterns in pound dollar, we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the next key area resistance to the upside of the target set, the 1.3254. So the next pair we're going to look at is US dollar Japanese yen. Now, ever since we were sitting at the 111.70, we were looking for this trade into the key area resistance at the 112.30, and then we were looking for further declines to the downside down towards the next key area support down here at the 110.95. Since we traded into this key area resistance, we have been making our way down towards the 110.95, and we're coming very close now to completing this target that we've been looking for. So very simply put, going into next week, there really is not much room to trade down towards the 110.95. Perhaps if we get one more correction, we can look for this move down into the 110.95. But what we're looking for next week is for this target to finally be completed. And if we can get a break through here, this is going to give us the opportunity to once again look for further declines in the US dollar Japanese yen. And we're going to be looking at initiating shorts down towards the next key of support to the downside of the target set for the 110.24. So next market we're going to look at is Aussie dollar. Now we start the week sitting at a key area of support at 0 0.700670. Going into next week, we are looking for further advances in the Aussie dollar. If we do get one final push up in the US dollar index, we may come down and retest this area once again. But overall, we are looking for a move to the upside in the Aussie dollar. This is an area we can start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the next key area resistance to the upside in the target set at the 0.7069. Just be aware that there is an interest rate decision next week out of Australia, and this has the potential to bring volatility into the markets. And so you should bear this in mind if you're trading the Aussie dollar or any of the Aussie pairs next week. So next pair we're going to look at is New Zealand dollar. Now we start the week at a key area of support in the New Zealand dollar. Last week, we were looking for a pullback and a retest of the 0 0.66100. And you can see we came down and we tested this almost to the pip last week. As a result, this is an area we're going to start to look for further advances to the upside in the New Zealand dollar. Again, if we do get that one final push up in the dollar index, we may find we get one more move down and a test of this area once again. We do not have as of yet any fully confirmed reversal patterns in this area. But going into next week, this is an area, even if we get one more retest of this 0 0.66170, where we're going to start to look for potential bullish formations and patterns. And if we get the right kind of bullish formations and patterns in this area, we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the next key area resistance to the upside of the target set at the 0 0.6713. So next we're going to look at is US dollar Swiss franc. Now we start the week having bounced a key area of support from the past at the 1.01340. Very simply put, if we are going to get that final push to the upside, that fifth wave in the dollar index, taking out the highs or taking out the target, we are going to look for one final push to the upside in the US dollar Swiss franc. If we get a pullback and preferably if we get one more retest of broken resistance turning support at the 1.01340, this is going to be an area we're going to start to look for potential bullish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the next key area resistance to the upside on the target set 
at the 1.0236. Now, if we do trade into this key area of resistance, this is an important area of resistance, and we are going to start to see if we can get a similar trade as we had over here. If we can start to see in this area tradable bearish formations and patterns, this is going to be an area we're going to start to consider short positions. And we're going to be looking at initiating shorts back down to the key area of support down here in the target set at the 1.01340. So next market we're going to look at is US dollar CAD. Now last week we were looking for this move back down towards the key area of broken resistance, looking to turn support at the 1.34015. We did get a retest of this area and we did get a bounce, which is what we were looking for last week. Very simply put, again, if we are looking for one final push up in the dollar index, we would be looking for one final push to the upside in the US dollar CAD. We are coming back down towards this area, so anybody who was not involved from last week may have another opportunity here to look for bullish formations and patterns. And once again, if we get the right kind of bullish formations and patterns in this area, we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the next key area resistance to the upside in the target set at the 1.3564. Now, once again, just because it does look like in a number of these, we are looking for a fifth wave or a final push to the upside. For example, in the US dollar CAD, you can see we have what looks like three waves to the upside so far. There is nothing wrong in this case with looking to take a more conservative target, let's say at the 1.3520, because with fifth waves, there is a slightly higher risk of a reversal. So just bear that in mind, we are looking for next year resistance at the 1.35640, but there is also nothing wrong with looking for a more conservative target, let's say at the 1.3520. And last but not least, we have gold. Now we're looking for a move to the upside in gold. We're sitting at a key area of support at the 1266.80. This has the makings of a potential double bottom in gold. What we would like to see, though, if we are going to get one more push to the upside in the US dollar index, we may see one final push to the downside in gold. And this may be one, two, three, four, five like this. If that's the case, we're looking for one final push down into the one, two, six, six point eighty. Any push down into this area would give us an opportunity to start to look to see if we can get those bullish formations and patterns. And if we get this kind of price action, we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the next key area resistance to the upside in the target set at the 1289.65. So that is it for me for this week, guys. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please let me know by liking, sharing, and subscribing. A quick reminder that we do have interest rate decisions out of Australia and New Zealand next week, so just bear that in mind if you're trading Australian and New Zealand pairs, you're very likely to see volatility coming into the markets when we have those interest rate decisions. Apart from that, I want to wish you all a nice weekend and I hope you have a great week next week. The only thing left for me to say is take care and don't forget to trade safely.